Okay, this time we're going to create a Google spreadsheet. Uh, once again, you can see my drive here, and if I click on create, it will open up down here, and we can cruise down to the spreadsheet option. You'll notice that once your spreadsheet opens up, it's not that dissimilar to a number of spreadsheet things, perhaps with less options here up in the uh, toolbars and menus up the top, but otherwise there. Let's give it a name. Uh, we'll call it uh, our test. And a slight little error there, one of the letters not going OK. We can go OK. And uh, we're ready, it's saved again. As you can see, it saves auto. It doesn't have a save option in there. Now we can go and put some details in here. So let's go put in here. Then we can move across by using our tab if we wish to. And that's probably enough. We've got two dates in there. Now if we click on the uh, dates and hold it down, uh, we'll see that as we go there, we can go across and it will take those details across until we get our dates in like so. Okay, now that might just be a little bit tight there, so let's go across here. We can highlight all of those there and then if I move up into that space there and move one of these, it will bring all of our columns to be exactly the same thing. Now, as per normal, we've got the options in here to align our things. So if I want to align those in the middle, I can do like so. If I want to align them vertically, I will click it like that. Uh, we also have the option in there to um, go through and take all of those, make them bold, change our font size, font type and font size if we wish. We can also change the color of the things. And if we wish to, we could also go along here and fill in those with a nice colored background. Uh, let's go and put some numbers in here. Let's put some numbers 56. Just some randoms. Uh, that's probably one too many. Uh, and so on. And, that, and of course, um, these are uh, numbers related to um, earnings and things. And I've just realized that we need to put in a column there, don't we? So if we click on the column there and right mouse click, we can insert a column to the left there. Then we can put in here what we want to have in that column. So these are the earnings for those particular months. And then we can go along here and we can choose to format them now. As we go formatting, and we suddenly realize that, hang on, those are all in pounds. So this is where we need to, if that pops up, go into the spreadsheet settings, choose the settings there, and we can see that it's located in the UK. If we click on Australia, it will change all of our settings there. And hopefully it will bring it up, working all of those things. Uh, and then we go in here now and we change that and we go to dollars and it changes all of those to dollars. And now, obviously, at the end of the year, we'd like to know what our year to date is. So if we click on that, put that year to date, we might need to center that again too. Probably a good idea. And we want to find out now. Of course, like all good spreadsheets, it has the option here of auto summing. So if we click on the auto sum here, we can click sum. You'll notice that there were a range of other things there we could do too as well. Uh, once we've clicked on the sum, it comes up and then we just simply define where we are selecting from. And I've done that slightly wrong because I needed to click there and click my cursor in the center there and choose all of those once that's done there it will sum up those and put it like so uh, now if we uh, wish to add some um, commentary in here and so forth uh, like so we can put that in there and of course we have this problem again whereby um, our text and stuff goes off the page so 
we can, uh, if we wish to, select a range of cells there and click merge cells and this will then merge the cells and allow our text to be in there if we wish to as well. Uh, let's just undo that one there for a second. Click in here and there's our thing there and if we want to wrap the text we simply wrap the text like so. And then maybe we would want to go and merge those two cells there, which makes it a little bit, a little bit nicer and so like that. Now, um, there are another other sets of options here that we can we can work with and play with. Uh, we've also got some uh, other tools and so forth. We've got scripts and things we can run. Um, we can protect the sheet and that. Uh, we can sort data and, in, according to various things, uh, changing the fonts. We can insert stuff again, and like we can insert uh, images and charts and other forms and drawings and things. Um, and if we wish to freeze rows and freeze things, so that if we freeze this particular row here, um, so if we freeze. Uh, row one, we can freeze row one, and that means that as we move up and down, the other data will move around. Um, and we can turn that off again. We can add grid lines, we can add other bits and pieces around the content so that if we click and highlight this, we can go in here, we can add lines around, and we can change the size of the, the colors and what have you as far as all of those sorts of things now of course with the spreadsheet being as it is it will offer the opportunity to chart stuff up so we again we highlight the data that we want to click on the insert chart and it comes along and does uh, like so now of course that doesn't look so much like we wanted to so maybe if we switch that we get the option there and then we can go through and we look at look at the various charts that are available. So if we choose our column graph there and have a look. And there it is there like so. Uh, we can insert that and it goes into the spreadsheet like so. Grabbing it we can move it around um, and then we can change various parts of our chart and so forth. We can also change colors and everything um, and what have you and of course as we change our numbers so we might put in there 34.9 it will automatically adjust like so uh, if we want to filter we can filter the data too as well we can also add links to various things and if we wish to we can add comments to uh, what we're doing of course as with all other docs, there is a revision history that we can work through and look. Again, choosing the more detailed revision will allow us to go backwards and forwards through the whole thing. And like other docs, uh, we can share our document and allow other people to come in and work with us all at the same time. So we can change that. We can change to anyone can comment and standard sort of stuff that we can do with the other docs. So there you have it, uh, a very quick look at um, spreadsheets and how to work with them.